Hey there YouTube, this is VargasXX78 with another pickup video. Uh, trying something new this time around. I want to see if, you know, you guys enjoy me talking to you face to face while I'm sharing my pickups. Or if you prefer the old style, you know, I, I want to try new stuff, see what uh, what you all enjoy better. So, uh, like I said, this is a pickup video, so this time I'm going to talk about the movies I picked up these last two weeks. So, uh, let's get started. First thing I picked up, I picked up Disney's Brother Bear, uh, the two-disc set. Um, I actually enjoyed Brother Bear. Uh, I thought it was a really good story. The characters were really good. Except Coda, the little cub bear. He kind of got on my nerves at the end. But uh, a really, really good Disney animated movie. I, at least I enjoyed it. Next movie I picked up is uh, Danny DeVito's Death to Smoochie. Starring Robin Williams and Edward Norton. Uh, it's about the this corrupt um, TV show host, uh, played by Robin Williams, uh, that gets kicked off his show and replaced by Smoochie, this uh, Barney-like character portrayed by Edward Norton. And Robin Williams just loses it, and he goes crazy, and he uh, plots to kill Smoochie. It's a, it's a really, really good comedy. I, I really like that one, too. Picked up uh, The Majestic, starring uh, Jim Carrey. It's about this guy that uh, gets amnesia and ends up in this town, and everyone in the town thinks that he's like this war hero that has finally come back. And, uh, you know, he's trying to uh, renovate this uh, this old uh, movie theater. Um, not Jim Carrey's best movie, but it has some qualities that I enjoyed. Picked up Ocean's 12, which is weird because I don't own Ocean's 11. But uh, an all-star cast uh, it has everyone, uh, George Clooney, Brad Pitt. It has uh, Catherine Cedar jones Julia Roberts. Just a really, really good uh, crime movie, but I still have to pick up the first one. Uh, from Mike Judge, the creator of Beavis and Butthead and King of the Hill, I picked up Office Space. Uh, like I might have mentioned when I picked up the Office TV series, I've worked in, in, in you know, these places that had cubicles and everything. So uh, I can identify with some of the stuff here. The 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 copy printer that doesn't always work. Uh, the boss that is always pestering you for reports and he has no idea what the reports are about. Uh, it, the movie's about this guy that is, doesn't enjoy his job and uh, he goes with this hypnotherapist. Uh, and the hypnotherapist like, uh, you're not going to care about your worries and your problems. You're not going to care about your job. You're going to be relaxed. And uh, when you wake up, you know, you'll feel refreshed. But uh, while the guy's in, in this deep trance, the hypnotist dies of a heart attack. So he never actually, like, wakes up the guy. So he doesn't care about anything. It's a real, really, really good movie. I, I, I enjoyed this one. Uh, picked up the two-disc widescreen edition of Top Gun, starring Tom Cruise. Um, I've seen this movie before, but it's only been the one disc and no special features. So I was really happy to find this one, because Top Gun is one of those 80s movies that uh, I really enjoyed. I, I I still believe that the 80s had uh, was the best decade, decade for movies, had a, real, a lot of really, really good movies. Uh, Top Gun was one of them. Uh, picked up the last Bourne movie I was missing, The Bourne Supremacy. Uh, I really, really like this this spy movie series because it's basically just about this guy that has amnesia. He doesn't know who he is, but he's like uh, really badass, and he doesn't need any gadgets. He just gets by by his wits. Uh, really, really good movie. Enjoyed this one. Picked up uh, John Carpenter's Vampires, starring... Um, James Wood and one of the Baldwin brothers. Uh, James Wood is this uh, vampire hunter that goes around killing vampires, but he meets up with this really old vampire that uh, kills his crew, and uh, you know James Woods is uh, out seeking revenge. Uh, really like that. Maybe not the best vampire movie out there, but uh, a good vampire movie, not nonetheless. Picked up uh, Jackie Chan's uh, Shanghai Noon. Uh, starring Owen Wilson. My favorite buddy comedies uh, with Jackie Chan, uh, at least the ones he released in America, is still Rush Hour. I think that one's the best one. 
Uh, Shang Kai Noon has some moments, but um, I I don't like Owen Wilson compared to Chris Tucker. Chris Tucker I thought was better, but uh, all in all, uh, it's still a good movie. Uh, it stars Lucy Liu. It has this uh, old West uh, theme to it. Uh, so yeah, it's still a good movie. Picked up the first season of Scrubs. Uh, it's a comedy TV show with these uh, doctors. Uh, it's kind of similar to Family Guy and The Simpsons, where they they talk about it and then they cut back to something else. But uh, the first and the second season, I actually saw them and I thought they were really cool. But I've never could have uh, I never could find it on on DVD. So really glad I picked it up. Also picked up the classic Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, starring uh, Robert Redford and uh, Paul Newman. It's a really, really cool Western movie, uh, talking about the lives, well, the adapted lives of uh, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. It has a, a really, really memorable scene where they're running from, from this uh, posse, and they're on this a cliff with the waterfall, and they're like, oh, I'm not going to jump because I can't swim. And then Butch Cassidy says, are you crazy? The falls will probably kill you. And then they jump off. Really, really good movie. If, if you like westerns, definitely give this one a look at. Also picked up the uh, complete series of Firefly. Now, other than Va v Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Angel, Joss Whedon's shows uh, don't have the best of luck. Uh, this was a really good sci-fi show that he did. It's about, uh, you know, this crew of a ship called the Serenity that uh, travel doing missions. Sometimes it's illegal missions, sometimes it's uh, good missions. And uh, it was a really, really good sci-fi show, which concluded in the movie Serenity. But uh, I don't know why this show got canceled. It was really, really good. The characters were memorable. Uh, the episodes were really, really good. Uh, just, I don't know, it, it didn't find an audience, I guess, but still... If you have a chance to see this, somehow, uh, definitely give it a shot. Either this or the movie. But I recommend you watch the series before watching the movie. Just a really, really good sci-fi. It's a shame they got cancelled. Uh, picked up uh, Sunset Boulevard. Uh, another classic black and white movie. If you're not a fan of black and white movies, you might not enjoy this as much. But it's about this uh, writer that uh, you know goes into the house of this has-been movie star, uh, Norma Desmond, and uh, you know basically he's there to he ends up helping her write this new screenplay that she's going to act and it's going to be her big comeback. But uh, Miss Desmond's not all there, so uh, she falls in love with the guy, and when the guy falls in love with a younger woman. She goes crazy, and I think, well, it's uh, it has a whole, a whole bunch of memorable scenes, but the best one's the ending, where she goes down the stairs, you know, doing this thing, like, uh, and then she's like, she gives a really good speech, and then, I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. DeBill. Just a really, really good movie. I, I, I also suggest you give it a shot. Picked up uh, Fatal Attraction. They're a classic movie from the 80s, uh, starring uh, Michael Douglas and Glenn Close. Uh, Michael Douglas is this guy that cheats on his wife with uh, the Glenn Close character. And the Glenn Close character is uh, goes basically insane uh, and to the point where she boils a bunny. Uh, yeah, she boils a bunny. It's a really, really good movie. Picked up uh, The City of the Lost Children uh, starring Ron Perlman. It's a French movie. Uh, it, it, it's a trippy French movie. But it, it's it's really good. I, I actually enjoyed it. So, yeah, not I don't know if a lot of people know of this one, but it's a real, really good movie. Picked up the uh, first volume of He-Man's He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, the 2002 series that came out on Cartoon Network. Uh, tried to reinvigorate the He-Man series. Um, when I heard about this, I wasn't I was opposed to the idea. Uh, just like I, I was opposed to the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series that came out also in the 2000s. But uh, as with the Turtles, uh, the episodes were really, really good. Uh, and this one has... It, at least it has an origin story. Uh, it, ac it actually explains how He-Man... Well, how Prince Adam became He-Man. And that didn't happen in the original series. So uh, the animation is a lot like the Turtles one. But uh, the stories are actually pretty good. So yeah, really happy to pick that one up. 
picked up Old School Unrated, uh, starring uh, Will Ferrell, Vince Vaughn, and uh, one of the Olsen brothers. Um, it's a really, really good movie. Uh, uh, definitely pick up the unrated version, because it's way better than the normal one. Picked up uh, Home on the Range, but I picked up the Mexican version of Vacas Vaqueras. And the reason for that is because I saw Home on the Range in English, and it was pretty bad. Mostly because it has Roseanne Barr in it, and I don't like Roseanne Barr. I think her voice is like... Uh, but uh, I saw Vacas Vaqueras, uh, and the Spanish dub is a million times better than the English dub, in my opinion. It's just, it doesn't have Roseanne Barr, so just for that, it's way better. And the cartoon itself uh, has some pretty good animation, and it's a goofy Disney movie. Not goofy the character, just, you know, goofy in the sense that it's, 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 it's a fun Disney movie. I, I enjoyed it, but only the Spanish dub. The English dub, uh, no, no, no. Picked up another Jackie Chan movie, The Medallion. Um, not the best Jackie Chan movie that he did here in America. Um, they 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 abuse a lot of uh, special effects. Just you know, just let Jackie Chan be Jackie Chan, like in the other movies, and it'll be awesome. But in this one, uh, they use too many special effects, and the sidekick character uh, kind of sucked. But uh, Jackie Chan is awesome in most of what he does. Um, by himself, not, you know, with special effects. Picked up uh, The Elegant Universe. Uh, this is a miniseries that came out on Nova explaining uh, uh, string theory. It's, uh, basically, it's, uh, physicists have this, com uh, this conflict between uh, Einstein's laws of relativity and uh, quantum mechanics. And, you know, quantum mechanics is about the somatomic world and, uh, uh Relativity is about the planets and the universe and gravity and everything. So they can't combine the two. And one of the theories that uh, proposes to fix all that is string theory. Uh, you might have heard about it in the Big Bang Theory. Uh, Sheldon Cooper, uh, you know, is researching scr uh, string theory. So uh, really, really good documentary. It has some really good special effects. And it's interesting to watch. So that's why I picked it up. Completed my Austin Powers trilogy with Goldmember. Um, not a good way to end the trilogy, uh, it has some really, really funny moments, but all in all, it's not as good as the first one, or the second one. Uh, I personally enjoy the Austin Powers movies, uh, so I needed this to complete this, the, the trilogy, but, uh, Goldmember is the weakest entry, uh, so yeah, but, you know, I completed that trilogy. Uh, picked up Waking Life. This is a really interesting movie, it, it talks about philosophy and, uh, you know, uh, how people view existence and everything. But it does so in this really interesting uh, animated way. Basically what they did is that they filmed the actors with a digital camera and then through a program they animated uh, frame by frame everything. Uh, so they have a lot of really art artistic things going here. So it's a really interesting movie. Uh, you definitely have to watch it like two times to get everything. Uh, one time to enjoy the visuals, the second time to enjoy what they're actually talking about. But it's a real, really, really good movie. Also recommend it. And last movie I picked up, I'm in this Jennifer Aniston, Aniston thing. Uh, and I picked up The Good Girl. It's basically her character is married to this pothead and she has a dead-end job. Uh, and then she, met, she meets this co-worker and uh, they fall in love. And it, it's a, like a bittersweet comedy. But like I said, I, I, I'm going through uh, Jennifer Aniston thing, so I, I picked that one up. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that was the pickup video. Uh, like always, I do thank you so much for watching. And like always, I do like to recommend the standout gems of the haul. So I'm going to go with a tie between Firefly and just for the trippy nature of it, uh, Waking Life. So again, thanks so much for watching. Uh, let me know if you enjoy this face-to-face -face way of doing the video, or if you prefer the old one. But uh, until I see you all again, this is VargasXX78, signing off.